Hey guys, how you doing? It's Matias and welcome back. Uh, today's video is going to be very important for many of you, actually about 99% of you. You know, what really determines success? What really is going to determine if you're successful or not? And I broke it down to two, you know, four major key points that I feel, me personally, I feel that um, you need to have and understand to get to the level of success that you want to reach. If you've seen some of my other videos, you know, everyone's success is different. You know, my success is way different than what you might feel is success. But getting to where you feel is success, you're going to need these four key points. Number one, sacrifice. Number two, knowledge. Three, confidence. Four, consistency. I mean, I'm going to break them down to you into some pretty broad but simple details so you understand exactly what I'm talking about when I get into this stuff. So number one, we're going to talk about sacrifice. And many people don't really understand it, or they do, but they don't actually take action upon. And that's one thing that you're going to have to realize. If you want to reach uh, levels of success, you want to create something for your life, something for your family, you have to sacrifice things. Maybe it's sacrificing some materialistic things, um, possibly maybe a second job. Maybe instead of getting a second job, you can focus on your business. Um, maybe sacrificing you know, a savings account or investments to put into your business so it will build long term. Maybe friends, maybe you have some friends, uh, relationships with people that are just not um, wealthy, healthy relationships. They're just friends that just work a nine to five job and that's all they knew. That that's all they know to do. That's all they know what to go out and get a paycheck. And if you're around those type of people consistent and you build the next 20 years of your network and your relationship around those people, 95% chances you're going to land in those same spots. Whether you're building this and hoping you're going to build this, that network of people, you're not willing to sacrifice some of those relationships for your success, uh, you're going to end up in that same boat. So, you know, it's up to you how you want to, you know, take care of things. Um, you know, sacrifice is done by multimillionaires, billionaires, very successful people online, offline, traditional brick and mortar businesses. People sacrifice things to reach certain levels of success. Athletes, um, you know, the one I always think of is sometimes hearing some of these crazy stories of, you know, some of the, the top athletes, how they, you know, came from pretty much nothing, now they're multimillionaires. Um, actors, actress, you know, actresses, a lot of those people have sacrificed a lot. Number two, which I really think you guys need to understand here, is knowledge. Um, if you don't have knowledge, you're not broadcasting with people out in the world, you're not gaining information, you're not gaining any more knowledge than what you have, bottom line is you're not going to become successful. And not saying you're dumb, not saying people are not smart, what I'm saying is you've got to be able to take this knowledge to the next level. You've got to be creative. You've got to be able to communicate. You've got to be able to establish relationships with people that are going to take you to the next level. Uh, my greatest you know, thought, kind of not thought, but quote, you would say is your network of friends equals the, the, the exact amount of your network, net worth. So if your network of friends are multimillionaires, chances are your net worth is multi millions of dollars. If your network of friends are people that are nine to five jobs, living paycheck to paycheck, maybe making 50 grand a year, chances are, not saying all, but chances are, 95% chance is you're in the same boat. And how do you get out of that? Well, number one, you come back to sacrifice. Number two, you're gonna gain some more knowledge than what that person has so you can get to the next level, right? The third thing here is called confidence. If you don't have the desire, the determination and confidence within you to make things happen, to create results, to test things. If you're willing to go above and beyond and just have that driving force every morning when you wake up, you're just so excited to get things going because you're so confident in yourself that you're going to do this and it's going to be done. That right there, my friends, will lead you to that favorite messed own word, success. Okay, and confidence is one of the biggest things I think, one of the biggest principles, key points that a lot of people lack in is if you're not confident in yourself, you know, why do it? If, if you're starting a business knowing you're going to fail, why start the business? Why not just close shop and lose what you already lost instead of losing more, right? The last thing here is consistency. And, you know, consistency to me is being proactive on a daily basis and being consistent with what you're doing in your business. If you're running a network marketing business, for example, you gotta be consistent in recruiting, training, sorting, prospecting, 
lead generation, your, your marketing, you gotta be consistent in all aspects of your business, but most important also, you gotta be consistent on working on yourself. And that's one thing I'm gonna do in the next video is you know, how to really work on the, the mindset and how to connect you know, the, uh, the heart here to the, the mind and, and really get it down to a fine line. But consistency, consistency is one of my favorite ones because once I became consistent, once I was proactive, I had a daily routine and I was always, always working on something that just led me one step closer to my success, another step closer to my success. Um, it just became a habit and you know, consistency, you know, I got to give it to it. That's what's built a large part or one of the main, I would say the main attributes behind my success of being consistent. But these four key points right here are all part of my success and all parts of other more successful entrepreneurs, billionaires, whoever you want to name them and categorize them. Everyone has these key points, sacrifice, knowledge, confidence, and consistency. If, if you can't get these four down and figure out how to put them on to your life and to your business, chances are you're going to fail much quicker than you expected. Okay? So I hope you guys have a... Uh, took down some notes. Um, hope this video really gave you some good information and really expanded upon you know, what uh, key components, key attributes you should have in place uh, to successfully build a network marketing business, internet marketing vehicle, or just a traditional business. Have a great day, folks. Take care. Bye-bye.